And it's the, it's the usual downfall of a great republic when uh, the pro prosecution system is turned into a political device. Uh, you, you, could, you can look at ancient history and you can see uh, this is the kind of thing that ends a civilization. In the wake of Donald Trump's anticipated arrest, Rudy Giuliani has been making the media rounds and also making quite a spectacle of himself. Welcome to TYT's Overruled. I'm your host, Adrian Lawrence. Donald Trump's former attorney, Rudy Giuliani, has been working to discredit the impending indictment of the former president. And this particular interview, I have to show you, it is on Newsmax and it is definitely in my top five Giuliani gems. It's Mayor Rudy Giuliani, always amazing to see you. Love you. Sorry. I'm, oh. I, I'm, a, I'm just so honored, always, as always, to uh, interview you, sir. Mayor Giuliani, what would you do? What would you have done if this case was brought before you? You prosecuted a lot of cases before you became New York City mayor. You were a, a you know, a prosecutor. What would you have done if somebody said, "Here's the case, prosecute this?" Well, here's what I would have done. I would have told them to go to hell. I had it happen. It looks like we're having some audio issues there. Uh we go way back to 20, 19, uh, 19. Everything about that interview was an epic fail. From the time delay to the visuals, Giuliani is a mastermind at Messi. But if you were to ask him, he would say he's a scholar. In a certain regard, that is. And when he was asked last week whether he watched the Oscars, here's how Rudy responded. Oscar? Oh, the Oscars. Oh, it's the, uh, oh, it's a family. What, it's, what it's are a Oscar, it's a, it's, Some big thing happened last night that I am called Oscar. It's called the Oscars. It's an award show. It's I a watched, big, I, big to I do in Hollywood. Last night, last night I, I watched Chosen, which I recommend to everyone to watch before Easter. It's about the life of Jesus Christ. It is uh, people who are very orthodox either Catholic or Protestant, might be somewhat offended by it's not being biblically 100% accurate, but it is not in any way offensive. It's not like, you know, the last temptation of Christ or anything like that. And its fictionalism is, from my point of view, as a, as a moderate biblical scholar, moderate, I say moderate, but um, but more a religious scholar, which I am, uh, I would say it's fair interpretation. But in any event, I was watching that, and they, they said there was a thing on Oscar, but nobody I knew was watching it. The man is definitely missing a few marbles, but at least he's got a few extra coins in his pocket now that he's doing those cool cameo videos to stave off bankruptcy. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here's my handle, here's my spout. When I get all steamed up, Hear me shout, tip me over and pour me out. I'm a very special teapot. Yes, it's true. Here's an example of what I can do. I can turn my handle into a spout, tip me over and pour me out. Do you think that aligning with Donald Trump is what took down Giuliani or do you think he was always destined to be this messy? You let me know in the comments below, hit that like and follow and thanks for watching.